Hello everyone, welcome back to the e-learning space of MGM Higher Secondary School, Bukaro. This is the second video for Unit 6, Section A of English Class 8 Main Course Book. Unit 6, Section A is a poem titled Be the Best of Whatever You Are, written by the very famous Douglas Malich. In our previous video on the same poem, we read the poem and analyzed its meaning. Let us read something more about the poem in this video. Be the best of whatever you are is an inspirational poem penned by Douglas Malich. His poem, Be the best of whatever you are, shows how keenly he observed mother nature. The title of the poem itself reveals the meaning of the poem and its concept. He is trying to tell us that whatever we do, we need to be the best. He has used examples from the nature to convey his message. The poet wants us to know that no job is less important and we need not be ashamed of what we are. Although we all dream of doing great deeds and being at the top, what really matters is the contribution we make to the society to make it count. We must take pride in our job and accomplish it with our best effort. It's good to be a pine tree on the top of the hill, but you can still be noticeable by being the best bush beside the stream, making the valley beautiful. The theme of the poem is inspirational and instructional, hence it is a great didactic poem. The poem is very simple in theme and language. The poem consists of four stanzas and containing four lines each. It follows a rhyme scheme of A, B, A, B. The last word of every line rhymes with every alternate line like hill and rill, bee and tree, etc. throughout the poem. Use of the conditional clauses beginning with if gives the poem a good flow and supports the theme of the poem very well. Figures of speech Douglas Malich here in this poem has used contrasting examples from nature to make metaphors for something big and its corresponding small one in regard to achievements in life. For example, we see the pine versus a scrub, a tree versus a bush, a bush versus a bit of grass, musky versus bass, captain versus crew, highway versus trail and the sun versus a star. The poet uses contrasting examples to compare their sizes in order to show the different ways or the sizes of achievement. There's also alliteration in the poem like in the lines if you can't be a bush be a bit of the grass. So the sound burr, burr, burr is coming at the beginning of these words and these words are quite adjacent to each other, near each other. Similarly, and some highway happier make. Again, the sound of her is coming at the beginning of these two words which are adjacent to each other. There's big work to do and there's lesser to do and the task we must do is the near. There's repetition in these lines. There's a transferred epithet or hyphalage in the line. And some highway happier make. The grass can make the people happier, not the highway. So there's a transferred epithet here. Antithesis is found in the lines. It isn't by size that you win or fail. So winning and failing are two opposite ideas that are brought together. And the poet has also created visual imagery in the expressions like a pine on the top of the hill, 
the best little scrub by the side of the rill, the liveliest bass in the lake, etc. Here we see some imagery, a very picturesque one as we read the poem. Now let us come to the textual exercises about the poem. Read to understand. Answer these questions with reference to the context. It isn't by size that you win or you fail. Be the best of whatever you are. What does size mean here? Size here means the dimensions of something. It might be big or small. The poet says here that size doesn't matter as the success of a person depends only on how good they are, what they do. If one can't be the gigantic sun, they should just be happy being the twinkling star. A person, no matter how big or small in size or stature, should make a noticeable contribution to the society they live in. In what sense could we fail? A person could fail not by the size of their accomplishment, but by the quality of it. They should try to be the best at whatever they do, no matter how big or small it is. Come to question number three. What does it mean to be the best of whatever you are? It means that a person should strive to be the best at whatever they do. They should make contributions that are noticeable for which one needs to be the best in their respective fields no matter the accomplishment. Coming to discuss and write, here you have certain statements. If the same meaning has been conveyed in the poem, you will be putting a tick mark. If not, you will cross it out. Now, this is something you will do it on your own in the textbook itself. We should not aim for great things. Is the poet telling us something like this? Of course not. We must focus on what we can and do well. Yes. All do not have the same abilities. True, we are different in our abilities. Complete the rest on your own. Also, we have answered these questions. Part B in read to understand. Come to that as well. In what way can grass make the highway happier? A patch of green grass can make the highway more colorful and brighter, which makes the traveler happy when he looks at it. Adding beauty and happiness to the world is the most important task. Why is it reasonable to say we can't all be captains? It is reasonable to say that we can't all be captains of the ship because a captain alone cannot sail through the seas. A captain always needs a good, capable and reliable crew to make it to the shore safely. How does the poet show the importance of every kind of work? The poet has shown the importance of every kind of work by comparing the biggest and the smallest objects or tasks, bringing out the importance of both and how one cannot exist without the other. He has shown that the smaller and lesser important objects of nature draw our attention just like the bigger and more important ones, only when they make the surroundings more beautiful or make major contributions to it. Now come to discuss and write question B, one we have already discussed. What can you say about the powers of observation of the poet? How well do you think he has used seemingly insignificant things to put forward his point? Now this is something for you to ponder upon. As you see, the poet has used so many imagery, so many contrasts. So can you say the poet has a good power of observation? Yes, we most definitely can. How do you think he is proving his point by bringing two very unrelated things together? He is contrasting two very unrelated things together. So how is he putting forward his point? Come to read and appreciate. Complete these definitions for similes and metaphors as discussed in our online classes, children, and in our previous video as well. A comparison between two different objects with at least one common feature is a simile. 
and the comparison between two different objects but the common feature is compared as if both are one and same this is a metaphor now based on this definition and this understanding of similes and metaphor here is a small exercise for you be a bush if you can't be a tree is this a metaphor or is this a simile this is a metaphor he swims like a fish this is a simile rest to do it on your own and exercise c read these words from the poem and use them in similes and metaphors of your own use your imagination to make the comparison so here are the words given to you you have to make or use them in sentences of your own but your sentences should be such that they become similes and metaphors Coming to the assignments that you will be doing from this lesson, read the poem and mark the tough words, learn the word meanings, learn the poem as well, complete the textual exercises in the textbook itself as discussed in this video. Now coming to page 118, read to understand exercise A and B. This has to be done in your English notebooks. And based on your understanding of the lesson, give a pictorial representation of the poem in your English copies and color it. Children, this brings us to the end of our second video and the end of the lesson. Be the best of whatever you are. Thank you and take care.